Hi there, thanks for joining me today. In this video we'll be working on data analysis project and for that purpose we're gonna be using Google BigQuery and Google Looker Studio. First part of this project will be data importing, cleaning and transformation and after that we're gonna be importing that data in Google Looker Studio. After we import the data, we will be creating dashboard in Google Looker Studio. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you final product that we will be creating. This dashboard will contain data related to MBA. As you can see, we will be able to see salary for each position, for example. Also top 8, the most paid players at that time and some other informations. To do this, we will first need to import data in Google Looker Studio and we are gonna do that by using BigQuery. First, we will need to import our data in BigQuery. So let's start working. As you can see in front of me, I have opened Google BigQuery. Also, I'm able to see project that I'm working on. If you don't have that, you first need to create your project. After that, you can start inserting your data. I'm also able to see my project here. And if I click on this button here, I'm gonna be able to create new data set. And I'm gonna do that for this purpose. Let's create data set and I will need to provide name of that dataset. Let's call it test dataset. Okay, perfect. Let's for region, for example, let's put Europe. And that's all that we need to provide. I'm gonna click on this create dataset and new dataset will be created as you can see here. Now that we created this dataset, we need to create table. So let's click also on this action button and you will see the option to create table. Let's click on that and we will have this window in front of us. First we need this source section. Instead of empty table, I'm gonna click on this upload because I would like to upload data from my computer. Next step is to import that file. I'm gonna click on this browse and then I'm gonna be able to find my files. It's this MBA, I'm gonna click open and I will be able to see my file here. File format is CSV, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. And also let's see what else we need to provide. We need to provide name of the table. In my case, it will be, for example, test MBA. Okay, that's perfect. Also in this schema section, I'm gonna click on auto detect option. So schema will be automatically generated. And that's it, I can click on this create table button and I will have my table created. As you can see, we are now able to see this table. Let's click on that one. Also, I can see my columns that I have in this table. And if I click on this preview here, I'm gonna be able to see actual values here. Now let's take a look at our data. Here we can see our column names and below that we can see our actual data. As you can see in this first row, we don't have any values, so the idea is to remove that row. And also if we have more rows with null values in this table, I would like to remove them all. So how can I do that? I'm gonna actually be creating view. I'm gonna keep this table and I'm gonna be creating view, which will contain only data that I would like to see in Google Worker Studio. So let's see how can I do that. I'm gonna click on this button here and I'm gonna click on query. So I will be able to see new window and I'm gonna start typing my query. If I run this code, I will be able to see first 1000 rows of this data. But that's not what I would like to see. I would like to see instead of that, I would like to see some condition. I'm gonna put where. Let's click on this one here. As you can see, my first column here is name, so I will put condition if name is now, then I will not use that row. So let's see how can I do that. I'm gonna click on this here. I'm gonna type where name is not null. In this case, I will keep only rows that have values. Let's run this code. And now, as you can see, in this data here, we no longer have that row with null values. Perfect, then I need to save this as a view. So I'm gonna type 
create view and I need to provide name of that view let's type MBA view and I also need to provide name of my data set now that's perfect so I will run this code and I will see my view created now we're gonna be using data from this view in Google Looker Studio so let's see how can we do that now I will go to this Looker Studio here this is just blank report I only have background for this report and let's see if we have any data sources let's click on resource manage the data sources and you can see that we don't have data sources here included in this report so I'm gonna need to add one let's click on add a data source and I will have this big query option if I click on that I will see a recent project that I was working on in Google BigQuery so let's click on this one let's choose our data set in our case it's this data set let's click on that and let's click on MBA view let's add this data source let's click add to report and now we are able to see our data included in our report now we are able to create our dashboard so let's first remove this table we don't need to see that data and now let's start working on this dashboard first I'm gonna insert my header I'm gonna click on this shape option I'm gonna insert the first one and let's place it here on top I'm gonna also need to resize this okay that's perfect now let me see if I need to change co color is okay but let me change this option I'm gonna put this to be 30% okay that's perfect now let's insert our title let's click on this text option here let's place it here and I'm gonna need to change some options I'm gonna change first color I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna also change font size let's put this 48 and I'm gonna keep this font and then I can start typing MBA let's call it MBA report for example let's see if I'm using this color okay that's good okay that's perfect now I can start creating my charts so let's click on this data source here I'm gonna first create two pie charts so let's click on this add a chart option and we will be able in this pie section to use actually donut chart let's place it here and now let's see what data we will be using instead of name in this dimension section I'm gonna put position and instead of this record count I'm gonna put salary so we will be able to see salary for each of these positions for example if we hover over this we will see salary for this position if we click on this one we will be able to see for this one and so on let me first remove this legend I'm gonna click on this style option and let's find legend section I'm gonna put none so I will not see this legend anymore next I'm gonna change these colors let's find this color by section let's click on single color and instead of this blue color let's use this orange one for example okay that's perfect now let's copy this chart let's paste it here I'm gonna also need to resize them for this second one let me see what values we are going to be using let's actually leave this position and instead of salary let's put age for example so then we will be able to see instead of sum I'm going to put average so we will be able to see average age for each of these positions we can see that for this position is 27 years for this one also for this one 26 and so on and now we have completed those two down charts now I'm gonna create two column charts so let's click on add a chart and in this bar section I'm gonna click on column chart let's place it here 
and let's see what data we are presenting here. Instead of position, let's for example find name and also I'm gonna keep this salary here. I'm gonna also need to resize this chart. And then let's click on style. Instead of this color, let's put orange. Okay, perfect. Now let's see what options we have to change this chart. So let's remove those grid lines. Let's click on this transparent and we are not be able to see them anymore. Also, if I scroll back to top, I will see this number of bars instead of 10, I'm gonna put 8. So we will be able to see top 8 players regarding their salary. So for example, at that time, Kobe Bryant has 25 million, LeBron James almost 23 and so on. Let's also copy this chart and let's paste it here. And I'm gonna place it right here below this first chart. And instead of, let's click on this setup option. And instead of salary, actually I'm gonna keep salary, but instead of the name, I'm gonna put, let's find team, let's put team so we will be able to see top 8 teams regarding their total salaries. For example, you can see the first one is Cleveland, next one is Los Angeles, Clippers and so on. Now we need to rearrange this dashboard. Now let's move those charts, let's move this one also. I'm gonna need to make them smaller. Now let's create titles for each of these charts. Now we have successfully completed our project and we are able to see our dashboard also completed. I hope that you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.